Hello Internet, so nice to see you. Today we see how to make music with the Dorian Sharp Fourth scale. Now, this scale has one sound to it, but it's a really striking and versatile sound, as you're gonna see in a moment. The A Dorian Sharp Fourth scale is made by the notes A, B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G. If we compare this scale to the A natural minor scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we see that here we have a raised 4 and a raised 6th. This scale is a mode of the harmonic minor scale, specifically the A Dorian sharp fourth has the same note as the E harmonic minor. This is important to know because we want to make sure that you hear A as the tonic of the scale and not E. If I play this scale, I get this sound. As you can hear, it has quite an exotic sound to it. But, as usual, the best way to extract all the sound of a scale is not to play the scale note by note, instead it's to harmonize it, that is, to build the chords inside it. So, on the A note I can build an A minor chord, A, C, E. On the B note I can build a B major chord, B, D sharp, F sharp. On the C note I can build a C major chord, C, E, G. On the D-sharp note, I can build a D-sharp diminished triad, D-sharp, F-sharp, A, and in fact I can build a full diminished seventh chord, D-sharp, F-sharp, A, C. On the E note, I can build an E minor triad, E, G, B. On the F-sharp note, I can build another diminished triad, F-sharp, A, C, and in fact this triad is included in the D-sharp diminished seventh chord. And on the G note, I can build a G augmented triad, G, B, D sharp. Now, the first recommendation here is to not use the E minor chord. The pull of E minor is too strong. As you're gonna see in a moment, the main chord of the scale are the A minor and the B. In the key of E minor, the A minor is the fourth chord, the B major is the fifth chord, so when I play those two chords and I follow them with an E minor chord, the whole thing sounds like a 4-5-1 in E minor. And so, this kind of chord progression, this specific chord progression, pulls you really strongly into hearing everything as if it's an E harmonic minor, not an A Dorian sharp fourth. So, just don't use this chord, of course, if you know what you're doing, you can do whatever you want, but right now, to learn the sound of the scale, just do not use E minor. It's a dangerous chord. Now, as I was saying a moment ago, the main chords of the Dorian Sharp fourth scale are this A minor and this B. It's this combination that gives an interesting sound to this scale. So, I could play A minor and then a B with a bass of A just to make sure that we are hearing A as the tonic. You've heard this sound already, it's used a lot in movie soundtracks and a lot in metal too, but it can be used in several different styles. Now this whole thing can sound more interesting if you start using different inversions and different positions for this A minor and this B slash A. You can add the C chord to this kind of chord progression, knowing that whenever you play C it's gonna sound very similar to A because those two chords have only one note of difference. And if you play C with a bass of A, this is just an A minor 7th, so as long as you know that, you can use the C chord whenever you want. This is A minor, B, C, B. This instead it's A minor C B. I 
I don't have to keep the bass on A, and if I change the bass accordingly, it sounds this way. This sound all very dark and dramatic, but what if I want to make this sound jazzier? Well, I could play an A minor 7th, and then I could play my B slash A. Listen to that. Another thing I can do is to employ this D sharp diminished seventh chord. Now, D sharp diminished seventh is the same as A diminished seventh. So what I'm doing is I'm playing A minor and following with A diminished seventh. If you spell out those chords, you're gonna notice that this A diminished seventh it's pretty similar to a B slash A, but not exactly the same. It feels like we just stepped into a mystery movie. Another interesting and frankly underused sound is this G augmented chord. If I'm playing A minor followed by G augmented with a bass of A, that's how it sounds. As you can hear, all those examples sound similar. As I said, the Dorian Sharp fourth scale has one sound, but it's a really versatile and striking sound. There are many variations of this, and there's a lot of music you can write with this. What if instead you want to use the Dorian Sharp fourth for lead playing? Well, short of playing the scale as it is, <laughs> Short of doing that, I was saying, a good idea would be to separate this scale into two arpeggios. If you want to use all the notes, then you can use an arpeggio of A minor 7th, A, C, E, G, and then an arpeggio of B major, B, D sharp, F sharp. If you just want to use triads, I would recommend using A minor and B major as arpeggios. Something like that. <laughs> Of course, you can combine those two arpeggios and some scale fragments in many different ways, but just thinking of the scale as two arpeggios rather than seven notes will make you play more melodically and it's much easier to manage in case you want to change key or change mode. Of course, those are just a few pointers to get you started. If you want to know more about the Dorian Sharp Fort and in fact more about any kind of scales and modes, I recommend you have a look at the Master of the Modes guitar course. This is not a book, it's a complete video course that is made specifically for guitar players and that teaches you everything there is to know about scales and modes, how to see them on your fretboard, how to play them, how to use them in an improvisation, how to mix them, how to change key, how to play over any kind of chord progression that you can encounter. It's also not just a music theory course, it's very practical, there are several exercises to do that takes you from where you are to where you want to be. If you have just a minute, click on the top right to check out the Master of the Mods course. If you like this video, smash on that like button, subscribe and don't forget to click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up new videos. And if you have any comments, suggestions, ideas, write them down in the comments, I enjoy reading from you and I make videos with your suggestions. This is Tommaso Zillio of musictheoryforguitar.com and until next time, enjoy!